Hey guys, welcome to SC Custom Designs. Uh, I thought I would pause and show you what I'm doing with an existing um, unit that I really threw together in the 90s. And it's this simple little um, shelf. Uh, who knows what I had in there through the years. However, my wife has asked me if I could turn this into a printing and mailing center. So where the mail is going to go um, and that type of thing and the paper because it's close to where the printer is. So uh, with that in mind, I just wanted to show you what some of the things that, that I've done and I've got a little bit more to do, but also to talk about technique when you're working on a project. So some of that technique is um, essentially <clears throat> when you're, this is the hardware, this is a little hinge system and we'll show you shortly what this is all about. Uh, but I have to fix this on, and you know how tricky that can be. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount the camera, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to see. By the way, happy Father's Day. I realized last year that uh, I did a video around Father's Day, because uh, I was doing some reviewing a couple months ago. I'm like, oh, cool. So it's been a year since that video, and we appreciate when you come into the shop of SC Custom Designs. Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If it's a thumbs down, let us know why, and we'll try to improve. Um, we're going to be doing a couple different... I'll get my commercials done shortly. Sorry, some of you folks are saying, get to the point, and I, I get that. So we're doing two shows so far. Uh, October 7th, the Carrot Festival, which is this here. Uh, all kinds of vendors come together, and this is in my local area for that. Um, and then the Maybe Farm, and I took a picture of the Maybe Farm. We're going to do a show there. Uh, two of my children were actually born in this historic house. Pretty cool, hey? Uh, but now it is officially a uh, historical site. Last year, we did our first show in Woodstock, New York. Uh, no pictures for you here. Maybe I'll try to pull one up, but that was the mowers. So, eh, we're in 2018 now. All right, let's move on with the project. So, uh, this is actually kind of fun, uh, what we're doing here. Just... Uh, doing this so if you've never seen this before this is a rockler set I'm not a salesman for rockler or anything that's my disclaimer any of the tools I use I just use the tools but this rockler kit has paid for itself over and over and over again even in the form of less frustration my friends so you know what it's like when you try to screw that guy in is moving all around it's quite slippery right and you're like and then you're you're going to uh, I try to do a pilot hole right exactly in the middle here, right? And you know what I'm talking about. So, this Rockler set has a number of things in it. One of them is a center finding jig uh, situation. I called it a jig. Um, so it's this bit here. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, so this basically has a drill bit inside here. And... Um, and this fits is going to fit right in the middle of the hardware. So let's just do it. I wish you could get a little bit closer and see what's going on here. But I got to mount my camera, so I'm going to try my best to hold this piece of hardware in place whilst we do this. That's one. Three. They are exactly in the middle of uh, those uh, of the hardware, and I am a little hungry at the moment, and I'm not talking right. But so I'm just going to drop the screw in there, and set it down in there. You can tell that I'm really hungry, but I can't do the simplest of things. I'll try to do this for you. Oop. Okay. 
okay, something like this. Put the next one in. Um, these are simple little things that we do, and I saw that move on me. And uh, we don't need the, the, the frustration of things going wrong. something to eat. This is such an old set uh, that I found lying around the shop. It's, it's rare that you have flatheads, you know, if you have other, other types of uh, screws. Okay, so essentially this guy is going to be attached to um, this guy. And what is this guy? Let's try to do this without too much shaking here. So what I did uh, is I made this this hair piece um, to go in as a shelf. Then I have this little flappity system that I have that's going to basically flop down, put a handle here, so we can quickly get at the paper. Okay? So some technique I used was I used the router to go ahead and uh, hollow this cavity out. I set that in there and I made those there. You can see that um, I couldn't hollow out all the ways to the back because this is an existing project. It has a back to it. I'm not going to take the back off. That's too much work. Um, and so really what you have to do, it's easy, is you take and just notch out the back like this. Okay, but I wanted to talk about, um, I like to work smart, and I use the Carter Fast System, um, which is a series of bars with magnets on them, and a notch in there. Uh, they're stellar for using on your bandsaw to correct, number one, to correct the bandsaw drift, which means the, the angle of wherever that blade is, so you don't get this business when you're resawing. And two, it's, just, it's a great spacer. In this case, I set it on top of my router, like so, and I raised it um, so that it's perfect. So it is exactly one quarter inch. This is a great little system if you haven't um, heard of it. Okay, yeah, let's put you there. All right, so now we got this shelf here. And let's see here. Yes, he goes like this. So basically I'll just slide them in there like so. Like this. And it's gonna go all the way to the back, okay? I'm not gonna push it in at the moment because I have to screw in my little floppity guy here into that piece which is the shelf so let's go ahead and, and do that i already have it marked so he's going to go right like this my friends just like this so i think so <laughs> And I really, I just came up with this design on the fly. I like doing stuff like this. Geez, how can I achieve this? And I wanted to keep it as simple as, as, as possible. Um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Uh, keep it as simple as possible. And be creative with it too, at all at the same time. I think I'll go ahead and screw these in first. All right, let's do that. What are you guys working on and gals working on in your shops? I'd like to know. Um, we definitely uh, get back to your comments. And, um, and I thank you for your positive comments and your constructive comments. 
like for example get to your point I've been watching a video for 10 minutes and you didn't really do anything so really at some point um, I had an accident and my I fractured my my uh, wrist so I have a few videos out there more than a few when I really couldn't do a lot of work with the hands it wasn't clear from the doctor so um, that's why I did a lot of talking I did a review on um, I did a review on on my dual planer that I purchased can you imagine my friends purchasing something and not being able to use it yeah it's tough for us folks that are ambitious and uh, just want to get on with it you know and have fun with the tools but there you go I try to take the lemons and make lemon juice some lemonade that's that so sorry about that folks but uh, we have about 360 videos uh, at SC Custom Designs on a YouTube channel. Oh, by the way, we try to do one a week. Keep things moving. Uh, we're going to be getting. We're going to be getting into. Uh, let's see how we can we do this. Will I be able to see stuff from here? Eh, probably. Let's do that. Without dropping my camera. How's that? I can see it moving from the uh, the fan that I got going. Let's put it up here. Sorry for the shaking, the quaking, guys. I just work by myself and don't have high tech equipment, so I use my phone. I think that'll do the job. Okay. So here's my simple system, my friends. It's a shelf. Incorporated this little floppity thing that basically is going to cover my paper. So let's go ahead and uh, stick this in. I don't even think I'm going to have to. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to have to to glue this. Quite honestly. And there we go. That's the idea right there. That uh, you know I'm just going to have to take a little bit off the bottom here so that it's going to set in there flush okay make sure i don't pull this whole thing off eh? yeah that's kind of in there that's what come up this is what it's like when you do videos live <laughs> oh wow that doesn't want to come out that's not the uh intent of at all. Let's use our heads here. There we go. All right. We have some bumps in the road. But we will take care of those bumps. This is paint, by the way, so that hasn't been helping me at all. So we know we gotta have to trim that a little bit too. Okay, let's take this guy out. But you got the idea of what's going on. So I'll go ahead and I will uh, uh, cut this guy here on the uh, table saw. That'll be fun to do. So we'll trim that off a little bit, sand it, and and there you go. So how about that for a, uh, a cool idea to just make yourself a shelf and a little area of privacy for the paper. I'll put a little handle here um, and really then what I'm going to do is put up here a shelf. I, I think that's what my wife wants. And then a little bit of a, a backer here so things don't fall off that way. Basically we're going to put baskets up here for the mail. So that's it.
thanks for watching uh, coming into my shop SC Custom Designs you may have noticed my friends we're growing our beard back that beard will be back by Christmas um, or Hanukkah so there you go all right thanks for watching SC Custom Designs appreciate when you guys find us uh, please help us spread the word we're up to 211 subscribers now so we're growing and we're having a lot of fun a lot of fun in the wood shop. Thanks again, guys. Take care. God bless. And stay safe in your shops.